Chromate conversion coating is a type of conversion coating used to passivate aluminum, zinc, cadmium, copper, silver, magnesium, and tin alloys. It is primarily used as a corrosion inhibitor, primer, decorative finish, or to retain electrical conductivity. The process is named after the chromate found in chromic acid, also known as hexavalent chromium, the chemical most widely used in the immersion bath process whereby the coating is applied. However, hexavalent chromium is toxic, thus, highly regulated, so new, non-hexavalent chromium-based processes are becoming more readily available at a commercial level. One alternative contains trivalent chromium. The ROHS directive is commonly referred to regarding elimination of hexavalent chromium. Chromate conversion coatings are commonly applied to everyday items such as hardware and tools, and can usually be recognized by their distinctively iridescent, greenish-yellow color. Substrates, Aluminium Chromate conversion coatings on an aluminum substrate are known by the following terms, chemical film, yellow iridite, and the brand names iridite and alodyne. It is also commonly used on aluminum alloy parts in the aircraft industry. Iridite NCP is a non-chromium type of conversion coating for aluminum substrates. The most commonly referred to standard for applying chromate conversion coating to aluminum is MILDTL 5541. Magnesium, alodyne may also refer to chromate coating magnesium alloys. Phosphate coatings, chromate conversion coatings can be applied over phosphate conversion coatings used on ferrous substrates. The process is used to enhance the phosphate coating. Zinc, chromating is often performed on galvanized parts to make them more durable. The chromate coating acts as paint does, protecting the zinc from white corrosion, thus making the part considerably more durable, depending on the chromate layer's thickness. Steel and iron cannot be chromated directly. Chromated of zinc plated steel does not enhance zinc's cathodic protection of the underlying steel from rust. The protective effect of chromate coatings on zinc is indicated by color, progressing from clear blue to yellow, gold, olive drab and black. Darker coatings generally provide more corrosion resistance. However, the coating color can also be changed with dyes, so color is not a complete indicator of the process used. ISO 4520 specifies chromate conversion coatings on electroplated zinc and cadmium coatings. ASTM B633 Type 2 and 3 specify zinc plating plus chromate conversion on iron and steel parts. Composition The composition of chromate conversion solutions varies greatly, depending on the material to be coated and the desired effect. Most solution formulae are proprietary. The widely used Cronac process for zinc and cadmium consists of 5 euro 10 seconds of immersion in a room temperature solution of 182 grams per litre sodium dichromate crystals and 6 millilitres per litre concentrated sulfuric acid. Iridite 14-2, a chromate conversion coating for aluminum, contains chromium, 4, oxide, barium nitrate, sodium silic fluoride and ferricianide. Chromate coatings are soft and gelatinous when first applied, but harden and become hydrophobic as they age. Coating thickness vary from a few nanometers to a few micrometers. Curing can be accelerated by heating up to 70 AA degrees Celsius, but higher temperatures will gradually damage the coating. Some chromate conversion processes use brief degassing treatments at temperatures of up to 200 AA degrees Celsius to prevent hydrogen and britannium under the electro-deposited substrate underlying the chromate layer. It is typically specified for electroplated steels greater than 180 xi tensile strength, and is normally performed prior to conversion coating. It is the pre-conversion plating that requires embrittlement relief, not the chromate conversion coating itself. References External links Yellow and Green Chromating Chemistry on Aluminum MILC 17711B, chromate conversion coating specification for zinc and zinc alloy casting and hot dipped galvanized parts.